What's going on guys? Welcome back. And today we're going to be doing a live reaction to yesterday's Nintendo Indie Showcase. And I really just want to get right into it. I don't want to really talk too much because this is kind of a long video at uh, almost 18 minutes long. So just give me a second to pop my headphones on and we'll get right into it. I'm going to be honest. That was... I was pretty impressed by that. I wasn't really expecting to see too many games that I'd be interested in. I also wasn't expecting it to be almost 20 minutes long. Um, there's a lot of games in there that I'm really liking here. Um... And these, these are kind of, I know a lot of people kind of hate on indie games and they don't count them as real games, but let's be honest. These are the perfect kind of games for the Switch, especially in the portable mode. Um, perfect kind of games that'll hold us over in between the major releases. So you're looking at, we're going to have Breath of the Wild, and now we're going to have a ton of games coming out in March. A ton of smaller titles that'll hold us over till Mario Kart 8. Then we're going to have Splatoon coming out, Mario Odyssey, ARMS. And in between that, we're going to have a bunch of indie titles that are really interesting, like um, Hawaii Shakedown looks great, looks just like the other game, but even better. Um, I forget what other games we saw. Stardew Valley is a big one. Uh, I think we knew that one was coming. I can't really recall. Um, another one that surprised me, The Escapist 2. I've never heard of The Escapist at all, and that's another game top downs kind of game I'm into. Blaster Master Zero is just, they blew my mind with that one. And for me, that really won me over. I mean, a lot of the other games, they were interesting, but when that's a game that's very near and dear to my heart. I have it right up here, Blaster Master. And like I said before, I've been waiting for a real sequel to Blaster Master for a very, very long time. So we're getting, looks like we're getting a, a prequel since it's called Blaster Master Zero. And, man, that's something that I will be buying day one without a doubt. Then we have that other game, the fighting game, Pocket Rumble. It looks just like, uh, maybe, I think it's called Pocket Fighters on the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Um, almost the exact same art style, just like they completely ripped it off. But looks very interesting. I'm very interested in that one. It's coming out in March, so that's probably going to be a must-buy for me. Especially since I don't think uh, Street Fighter's coming out until April, I think they said. So... That's a good one. Then we have some ports like Overcooked, which is a huge game for the Switch, especially where the Switch is very multiplayer focused. You have two controls out of the box, and you can definitely play Overcooked. I mean, if you haven't played that game, definitely buy it if you have somebody to play it with. I mean, it might turn you against your friends and everything because it does get a little crazy there <clears throat> at some times, but this looks like it's going to be the definitive version of Overcooked. So definitely check that out if you guys haven't played it, and even if you have, it looks like it's worth playing again. So that's it for today. I give this presentation probably an 8 out of 10. They really blew me away with the Blaster Master Zero. That's something I had no idea about. When they said Indie Creates, I thought it was probably going to be like a Bloodstained announcement, which I believe Kogi Garashi kind of hinted towards dropping the Wii U version and moving over to the Switch, because obviously by the time that game comes out, I think in 2018, the Wii U is going to be long dead. So there's really no point releasing it for that console. And um, I personally have that, uh, I backed the Kickstarter, and I have that coming for PS4. But if they do make a Switch version, I will change and switch my pre-order to the Nintendo Switch. So with that said, it's about all the time we have for this episode. I'm out. Peace.